up guys welcome to day two of the home workout challenge thank you for sticking with me and for clicking on this video well done for showing up for yourself we're gonna be doing like a leg focused workout so it's not purely legs because it's a home workout but it is gonna be like you might feel like jelly tomorrow uh, rounds of different exercises so 40 seconds on 20 seconds rest let me know in the break by the way how you're feeling um just leave me a comment saying how you're feeling and which severity severity sounds negative which intensity that's more positive wow should i be a politician the way i just made that work which <laughs> which intensity you're doing beginners intermediate or advanced i'm not going to talk your head off let's get straight into it let's begin the workout with a warm-up you ready ready for day two hope you're not aching too much from yesterday We're just going to start off with a gentle jog running on the spot warming up i'm not gonna lie there is not a lot i can say when we're just jogging to be honest there's not not a lot of technique to it but that's okay <laughs> um yeah jogging on the spot and then we're gonna do some high knees for a few seconds so pick those knees up a little faster and relax cool so then we're gonna come and do some side lunge foot tap so just swaying from side to side touching the floor opposite arm to opposite leg well done and relax i'm gonna do some uh hamstring stretches so one leg in front of the other sitting back chest towards the knee just scrape the ground not scrape that sounds a bit gross just kind of sweep the ground gently or as close to it as you can feeling a good stretch in the calves hamstrings glutes alternating legs cool and we're going to jog on the spot again this time we're doing some heel kicks so just kind of kicking the feet up to the bottom Getting that blood flowing, although, you know, I would assume it was already flowing somewhat. Just getting it pumping a little, little quicker. And we're going to tutty down and stretch out the inner thighs. Did any of your teachers say tutty down or is that a Welsh thing? Um, but yeah, just bring your arms inside of your legs and just bounce um, and relax in this position as I show you the first move, which is step up squats. So there aren't actually a lot of variations in this workout today, to be honest, um, because they're all pretty kind of simple moves. Um, but if you're a beginner doing this move, you might wanna just hold onto the wall or put your hands on your hips or hold a chair in front of you. So feel free to kind of pause the video and reposition yourself if you need to. Um, but that will just mean that you don't have to kind of keep your balance as much. But intermediate and advanced, we are keeping our arms up, pushed back behind our ears awesome so ready to do that ready to start and go step up squats so try and keep your chest high and you'll notice here I forgot about my arms because it is very easy to do but just that's okay we just double check ourselves push your arms up and back by the ears chest high and you want to stay low so try and not bring your hips up any higher when you go into the squat position than they are when you're kneeling this is very difficult uh, but it's, it's it's possible you can do it beginners don't worry about that you can come up a little bit more just keep going alternating each leg that you step up with each time and rest well done then we're going to come and do some clam raises so on one side supporting the weight of your body with your forearm feet together and knees apart we're going to lift up off the floor all doing the same thing here ready and go i don't know why i kept forgetting how to put my arm you you are definitely on your forearm and um, so lifting the hips up now we're kind of going in two directions as we do this so we're lifting the side of the hip up off the ground but we're also squeezing the glutes and getting that full hip extension so it's almost like you're lifting up and forward so when i'm at the top of the movement i almost want my body to be in a straight line from shoulder to hip to knee now it's not going to be in a perfect 
straight line but that's the extent that I want you to be kind of squeezing the glutes and pushing those hips forward for full extension so this is really focusing on the glutes a great movement and rest for 20 seconds and we're going to come over onto the other side and do the same thing on the other side stacking one foot on top of the other resting on your forearm ready and go lifting those hips up squeezing the glutes so when you sit back you're quite literally sitting back and then as you come up you're bringing the hips through and forward trying to get that straight line from the shoulder through the hip to the knee on the ground as you come up opening the knees as you do so intentionally squeezing getting that mind to muscle connection this is such a good move it's a real a real uh, glutes builder keep going just a few more and rest well done awesome the next move we're going to do are some squat pulses with a jump that is for intermediate and advanced beginners i just want you to squat and pulse and then stand up instead of jumping ready and go so squatting two three jump explosive off the ground so remembering to put your weight through your heels chest up sitting back i don't want your knees coming in front of your feet whether you're doing the beginners or the advanced version um, for the advanced and intermediates i want you to really be explosive with this try and jump as high as you can and um, that'll get some great hypertrophy so just jumping up as high as you can be explosive keeping that pulsing movement nice and low you should be able to wiggle your toes and rest well done awesome then we're going to do some out and backs and um, some people might call this something else if you have a better name for this let me know because this is just a bit of a weird name but either way um we're lifting the leg out and then back so again focusing on the thighs and the glutes if you're a beginner simply hold on to a wall and um, ready and go so bringing the leg out to the side and back behind you. Beginners, when you're holding onto the wall, you wanna make sure you're holding on with the opposite arm to the leg that's moving, okay? Because obviously you need the space to like open out that leg. So the aim with this movement is not only to keep your balance, um, but is to actually isolate that leg when you're moving. So really just controlling it, getting that glute squeeze at the top. I don't want your back arching and moving around. Keep your core tight, your back nice and still in a good neutral position as we move the leg. And rest. Then we're doing the same thing on the other side. Feel free to shake it off. Stretch a little if you need to. You're doing really well, guys. And on the other leg, ready and go. So again, with this movement, you want your weight through the heels. And um, you could see when I was doing the other leg that actually my hips are back a bit. So my body weight is nice and stable because my hips are actually pushed back. As I bring the leg back behind me, I'm getting that glute squeeze as I extend the hip. And then as I bring it out to the side, you know, your mobility might limit you a little bit, but just trying to bring it up all the way as we use the abductors to lift that leg try and stay nice and balanced you can hold on to a wall or chair if you need to a few more doing really well and relax you might notice we're actually working both legs there so you're not only working the one that's moving but the one that's keeping you still awesome so we've got a minute to chill um in fact a bit more than a minute because your gal messed up the timer yet again <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why am I like this, Sarah? Why are you like this? But either way, it doesn't really matter. And um, grab a drink, have a sip of, of a little little Sutton Sutton, and um, stretch out if you need to. The move that we're going to be coming back into are the step up squats. Um, so beginners, get your wall at the ready, or rather move towards the wall. Um, <laughs> grab a chair, whatever. And we'll go back into those shortly how are you feeling guys are you okay are you good i hope you're good 
Thanks so much for showing up for day two. I'm I'm genuinely proud of you. I know that sounds really patronising, but it's so easy to sign up for these things and then not show up, but you're showing up and that's amazing. That's really amazing. So, well done. Awesome. Ready and go. So staying nice and low, trying not to stand up too much. You want minimal, minimal rising as you stand up alternating the starting leg each time. So each time you go back down and you want to come back up, choose a different leg to start with because it actually does make a difference which leg you um, get up with first. Arms press back behind the ears. You're doing really well. Keep going. I know it's a tough one, but you're tougher. You can do this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like even just showing up for a workout and giving it a go is such a win. That is, a w in fact, that is the win. Genuinely, that is the win. The fact that you've showed up and you're going through it. Well done and relax awesome then we're gonna go and do the clam raises um, so yeah take a moment catch your breath if you're out of breath i don't know um come down onto one side ready and go <laughs> don't be like me don't forget what you're doing um supporting you <laughs> I promise I've done this before, you guys. Um, so supporting the weight of your body with your forearm. Forearm, coming up. Knees apart. Focus, Sarah. People have to listen to this. Knees apart, lifting up, squeezing the glutes. You can feel that burn, but try and keep it nice and strong. It's a small range of movement, but it, it's, the, it's the range that you want for the glutes. So in that near full hip extension. Doing really well, a few more. And rest, coming on to the other side. Will I get it right this time? Please tell me I'll get it right this time. Resting the weight of your body on your forearm. Yes, please, please do it right. Ready and go, nailed it. See, progress, not perfection. That's what we're here for. So lifting up, knees opening up like a clam, little bit of a weird analogy. <laughs> In fact, I kind of want to change the name of the exercise now that I've actually put that into words, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. Squeeze your glutes, bring your hips up and forward. Oh my gosh, I think I'm giddy. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> keep going. You can do this. You're doing really well. Keeping good form, mind to muscle connection. It matters, it makes a difference when you think about squeezing the glutes. And rest, well done. Then we're coming back to the squat pulse jumps. So nice and powerful for beginners. We're just pulsing and then standing up in a squat. Still super effective, still gonna work those legs. ready and go sorry i missed that i looked away keep going <laughs> so pulsing back in the squat jumping up nice and explosive get as high as you can landing softly weight through your heels you should be able to wiggle your toes chest up as you pulse you're kind of squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings and the thighs in preparation to take off off the ground as high as you can you can slow down but try not to stop if you need to switch to the beginner's variation that's okay Keep going, you're doing really well, guys. And rest. Amazing, then we're doing some out and backs again. So hold on to a wall if you need to. But just watch my posture here um, in the example. My hips are back, my arms are in front of me. That'll really help you keep your center of gravity and keep your balance. Ready and go. So when you have your hands on your hips, it's actually more difficult, but if your hands are in front, you'll keep your um, center of gravity more easily. Being intentional with the movement, keeping a slight bend in the moving leg. So we're just focusing on isolating that movement. Notice I'm not arching my back as my leg um, comes back behind me in order to exaggerate the movement. No, I want this to be just in the leg, okay? I'm not trying to work my lumbar spine. That's not what this move is about. Doing really well, keep going. And rest. 
and onto the other leg. Shake it off. Ready and go. Leg behind you, out to the side. Behind you, out to the side. There is no rush with this movement. Okay, we're keeping nice and still. We're controlling it. Balancing on the one leg. Weight through the heels. Good posture. Trying to get to as extreme a range of movement as you can. Um, so really trying to bring that leg out away from the body but while keeping good form if you're losing form then just just rein it in a bit rein it in and relax well done awesome so what we're going to do next is a little different than what we usually do we're doing a burnout so i want you to come down onto the floor lying on your back with your knees at a 90 degree angle and um, so bent knees and feet flat on the ground both feet on the ground we are starting with hip raises 10 reps ready and go one two three we're counting the reps so no timer 10 of these bringing the hips all the way up so that your body's in a straight line from shoulder to hip to knee. Beginners, I want you to stay on two legs. Everyone else, raise one leg and do 10 reps on one leg. Squeezing, feeling the intensity increase as you lift that leg. Switch to the other leg, one, two, Three, you can follow my timing or you can count through the reps yourself. It's totally up to you. But we're not having any rest in between. Now both legs on the ground. I want you to move your feet further away and 10 reps, ready and go. What this does, moving the feet further away, is it just intensifies uh, the work of the hamstrings. But we're still aiming to get that full range of motion. Lift one leg and go. Beginners, you're literally just doing 10 reps, double leg, 10 reps, double leg, 10 reps, double leg. That's still a huge challenge, but you can do it. Switch onto the other leg. Squeezing the glutes, squeezing the hamstrings, trying to get the hips all the way up. You might find that one leg is weaker than the other. That's normal. We, we all usually have one stronger side. Now bring the hips towards the bottom. Just checking you're still with me because sometimes the camera cuts out, but that's a sad story for another day and go. Raising the hips up. Now with the feet closer to the bottom, I want you to turn your feet out a little, really targeting the glutes. Now you might find it difficult to get as good a range of motion, that's normal. What you can do, um, switching to one leg, lift one leg, ready and go. What you can do is actually use your hands as a guide. So just pop your hands up and bring your hips up to meet your hands. So that kind of gives you a, a, a target to squeeze the glutes so that the hips come all the way up. And other leg, last 10. Go, two, three, four, five, squeezing through, nearly there, you're doing really well. And relax, well done, you done diddly did it. Why did I just say diddly? Oh gosh. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stretch it out, stretch your hamstrings, your glutes, your calves, your lower back. And we're, we're pretty much done. You can stretch wherever feels tight. Uh, well done, you guys. Well done for making it through. You've done so, so well. and I'm really enjoying this i'm really enjoying seeing your feedback and how you're finding it as well it makes me smile it's been making my day all day today and um, so yeah well done and i will see you guys same place tomorrow uh yeah see you tomorrow have a great one get some sleep get some rest eat well bye 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 why am i dancing oh <laughs>